Hi, this is my friend Joan, and the two of us wandered into the Bottle Works Hotel in uh, Indianapolis and discovered this brand new hotel that used to be the Coca-Cola Bottling Company, and it is a monument of Art Deco. So we're like hyperventilating, wandering around here. Check out the doors. Check out the ceiling. Check out the staircase. I'm sorry, you're getting like sick just watching me do this but check out the staircase. So my battery's dying. I'm gonna get all the footage I can for you guys of this place until my phone dies, cause oh my God, this place is amazing. The ceiling fixture is pretty spectacular and the stairs going up are spectacular. Can you imagine working here and this was your like, you know, place of employment had this kind of, had you were working inside an Art Deco monument, which of course was just a, <gasps> whoa. This piano is owned by Jim Hazel Yonker, donated by the Severance family of Kokomo, Indiana. Look at the, wow. Whoa. Wow. So you really just get the, oh my goodness. Do -do -do. Star ballroom. It does. Although this, the, the wall here is, oh, yeah. this is probably just a bigger space. Oh my God, we have to take a left turn here in, in a second. Let's see if the door's open. <laughs> what do we find? Glass block. Glass block. From the 30s. Okay, so they've divided up this space, but we presume this is what used to be here. The walls in this hallway, instead of just a plain thing, we have sort of inlays in the walls, kind of fun. And despite the, uh, yeah, despite the inlays are fun, but you know what's even more fun? The hardware. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an absolute monument. As I keep saying, I need to stop saying that. But, so I have to just back up to be able to appreciate the wall, the tiles, and check out the grades. The girls are so good. But it is a very interesting, it's like the replacement of molding. I have my acanthus sleeve molding from other eras, and here we've got this Art Deco motif. Apologize for the glare, but here is some a, a photograph of what this lobby looked like when it was the bottling company. So then, and now, this desk is, I think, modern. But they did a good job of making it fit in. This is probably all modern, but we're gonna we're peeking in here. They've got you know restaurant, conference center. Oh my. Okay, the bar's kind of fun. Mostly mod very modernized, but you can see the remnants from the walls here. Uh, it was a factory after all. <laughs> the street from the hotel we've been uh, admiring is the garage. We assume that's where the uh, bottling company uh, cars, delivery trucks used to be. But let us back up so that you can actually get an appreciation for the front of the Bottle Works Hotel. I really do want to know more about the fountain they have on the side of the building. And uh, when you go around the corner and look down the side, the Art Deco delicious bits just continue. And. Um, if you need a convincing Coca-Cola bottling company. The outside of the building, these are new grates, we think, but look at the beautiful job they did blending in with the architecture. You know? Oh golly. We have to oh I have gosh, to show you guys carving. the side of the building with all of the we got pomegranates and like what are these things? Like plantains or you definitely have a plethora of, it's interesting because Art Deco you think of as very like this, very um, angular, but we have a whole lot of 
botanical motifs in this. The side door might be even more fun than the front door. Look at that. Okay, so there's the Coca-Cola sign on the, the long, wait, get to check out how long this building is. I mean, it was a factory, but it just goes down the block and down the block. And then when you cross the street, here we are at the garage building and we're going in under the door that says pins. We're going to check it out. Bowling. Oh. oh yeah, we're in the bowling side. Yep. <laughs> when life gives you balls, play with them. Yeah, we needed to see that. Yeah. So we have table tennis and a bar. And I think if we go past the, uh, the bar, there's plenty of other entertainment, including, um, I think it's katana or uh, boxing. We're going to find out what the other rad activities are. I have a feeling that this will be a lot less uh, quiet a little later. Oh my God. The swings. The patio is uh, fun. And uh, I managed to lose a game of Connect Four because Joan got the diagonal there. <laughs> so from the far side of the building, it would, be it would be really sweet when the lights are on after dark. Sorry, we're here like hours too early, but this would be really pretty.